From a wooden roller coaster that would have sat where Saw the Ride current is, to even a strange UK's first coaster that would have been built on the site of Colossus. Today, I'm going to take a look at some of the rides and attractions at Thorpe Park that were planned but never built. Why weren't they built, you may ask? Um, probably for multiple legal reasons, financial issues, and maybe even some environmental issues too. <coughs> but it's interesting to look back and see what could have been. I mean, if some of these rides were actually built, it would have changed the scope of Thought Park completely. For the worse or for the better, you don't know, but I mean, we have Black Mirror now, so you can't get much worse than that. Before we begin though, I got an award in the best YouTuber category at the UK Theme Park Awards. <laughs> what? Honestly, I did not expect this at all. I mean, I went up and I was shaking like... But it means the absolute world, so thank you so much for all the support. And if you do enjoy my content as a whole, then feel free to subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thought Park is home to multiple rides, roller coasters, and the lot, including Stealth, the tallest... No. The second tallest roller coaster in the UK, and the likes of Nemesis Inferno, which after this year will be the only operating Nemesis in the country. <laughs> the park is also home to Saw the Ride, which is alongside the area of Old Town. But did you know that entire area was originally planned to be a space for a wooden roller coaster? The ride was set to be around 27 meters tall, which is approximately 88 feet, which... that Wait, that's not even as tall as... That's actually quite small. It would be 930 meters in length, and also... Hang on a second. Have exciting interaction with Flume and Railroad, including pass-through Flume Tunnel. Sounds riveting. And it was going to be designed by GCI, Great Coasters International. Yes, the same people that made the big Wicker Man. Wicker Man Manufacturing Co. From looking at the proposed layout of this ride, I don't think it would have had much airtime or much punchiness to it at all. Let alone it would have been built by Merlin. So if it was still standing by now, it would be rough as shit. It would have been cool to see, but I'm definitely happy we got what we got in the end with Saw. Because Saw the ride... <laughs> oh. We don't need to worry about that coaster anyway, because it didn't happen, and uh, we got Saw instead. Although, they might remove it for a wooden roller coaster. Speculation to And talking of Old Town, of course, Exodus is being built. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> but before these plans for Exodus were approved, Sort of. There was apparently really early plans for a B&M Hyper-esque ride, so like Shambhala or Mako, going via over where Exodus is now. It would have been full of airtime and it would be a big, big ride. A lot of people do hear that this B&M Hyper was supposed to happen and they think, oh, that would have been way better than Exodus, like the Mac ride we're getting. No. But I would actually disagree because I think Exodus will be one of the best in Europe, let alone the country we live in. Please just stop being so flood prone. Now this next one is not Thought Park not building a coaster because they did end up building it. Before Stealth was originally planned, there was going to be a ride in its place. That being a shot tower. Yeah, I was a bit confused when I heard that too. Stealth may shoot riders up and back down again in the form of a roller coaster, but why not get a single track of ride that does that? That's so weird to think though. Imagine we got an ice blast in the place of a the stealth would have been a completely different world we live in and i think i would have preferred the shot <laughs> now it wasn't just stealth that had rides planned before it it was also colossus because that one had a few and they're quite scary one of the original plans before colossus was a pinfari yes the same make as turbo at brighton pier the absolute trash heap of a ride i haven't been on it to be fair the pure death that exerts from their rides and they wanted to make one at Thought Park. Like, what is that layout? How do you make a drawing look rough? How is that possible? But a really strange UK's first roller coaster was going to be in that site as well, which was apparently planned to be a um, B&M 4D coaster, which is the same make as the Swarm or the Swarm. But the seats on the wing would spin, so like X2 has, which I think is absolutely insane. Imagine if you just walk into Thought Park and there's this ride where Colossus is that just has wing seats and it's just going crazy. And obviously before Nemesis Inferno was built, there was actually plans for a BNM invert over the lake where Saw Alive is currently. So if this ride got built, we would never have had the sinking boat. All of these rides, if they were built, could have changed Thought Park forever. Would you have liked to have seen these rides exist or not? Leave your thoughts in the comments. 